check out my video I just put up today and Google and YouTube censor my video section. You gotta check out the video. I said, Ken, do you know what you are? Look what's eating my figs. It looks like he's even cutting the plastic. Whoa! Can you hear it? Man! Can't get it. Whoa, did he cut a hole already? Look at this. Why is he eating my figs? We gotta know how to, to exterminate these guys. I don't even know what they are. They're starting to get me. They're buzzing and there's two of them in there. Whoa, see that? Okay, no more fun and games. You meet your maker. You wanna get squash. There's one. There's two. There. Like I said. Man, they're still moving. You don't have to squash it. You just think I'm armor plated. Whoa, oh, there we go. And the other one. There. Man, they were like a Steven Seagal movie, hard to kill. There you go. I got it, grasshopper. Eating all my fruit tree. See with the scissors? It eats all my leaves. It was very hard to get. Can you believe it? it wasn't easy. These things devastate all your green leaves. And then they just eat it. They're very hard to catch. The green ones are even harder. All right, so there's a, a lady in uh, in uh, South Africa. She has this problem and doesn't know how to get them. There's uh, ways of getting it. Hey, look it, this just proves. See that? This video is for you. Hey, welcome to the Blue Garden here. All right, today we're going to uh, get the bag of tricks here and we're going to analyze our compost and put it under the microscope along with the soil we're going to take soil sample from certain fruit trees and see what's living in the soil so I got my bag of tricks here 
and we got a new tripod and show you here all my supplies did a video on this but uh, a lot of you guys didn't watch so we're going to take samples extract it from the soil and put it on the microscope so make sure you watch that video all right it's going to be a full video i can't do it in the short so make sure you hit that subscribe at least three new subscribers please all right so our first sample is going to be right here we use this extractor and we have to bag it even got a lemon all right so we'll just get a sample from here basically just push it in You just see right there. Put it in the bag. Ah. Well. There it is. There's our first sample. Okay, we're gonna take our second sample here from the blueberry. Okay, you don't need that much. So here we are, this is the blueberry. Okay, next sample is going to be the water. Remember, I'm making this microorganism brew here. So, we're going to take some. That's about all that we need. And we're going to see what kind of micros we're making. Okay, welcome. So, we got our soil samples here. And uh, we got them labeled. The grapes. The compost. And the blueberry. And we also have the... the our uh, microorganism water area. So basically the way you do this is uh, you use one of these papes, papes for each specimen. So that way you're not cross contaminating. So if you see anybody doing it using just one for all three, you know they're doing it wrong because they're cross contaminating each one. All right, so we have our empty vials here. And then uh, we need to start by getting our samples. So basically, to do it like this, have it here all organized. And we get our spoon. All right, so here we go. Stainless steel, so there's no uh, contamination of of uh, bacteria growing on utility. So we get it, find our bag that says grapes. And then 
you gotta remember, you cannot use tap water. The best thing to use is distilled water or this is uh, filter water. It has no um, minerals or anything in there. Uh, we had the four bottle osmosis. And so that would cover that. So we are going to take a mix sample here in the bag. So basically we're just going to shake it up. This is the blueberry. Note this is the grape. The grapes. So we do that one first. And basically we just want to get as little bit of clumps in there. Nothing hard. So we just smash it up. Okay. Okay, so now let's take a teaspoon of this. It's all measure. This is uh, one teaspoon or five milliliters. All right. So we got it here. And then we're going to keep it inside the bag so we don't make a mess. We take our test tube. And we're just going to pour it in there. I think I compacted that. Yep. Been compact. I think it's uh, just easier just to push it in there. Now, we don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Okay. And already making a mess here. So, clean this up a little. There. All right, there's our sample. Again, we don't need a lot, so now we're gonna fill it up with water. Well, not fill it up, but put enough water in there to so we can uh, shake it. Not shake again. We need to put enough water in there so we could. Gently rock it. So we want to get all this nice and mixed. All those loose particles get in the soil. Now, the proper way is, is a gentle roll. Like this. Because if you do it shaking violently like this, you know, disturb and you can even damage the microorganisms. And remember, the microorganisms are very small. You need a microscope to uh, view them. And if you do a violent shake, you'll just be destroying your specimen. All right, so this is all it is. It's a gentle roll. This is all it takes to... Uh, to um, mix it up in there. So I think I have to do two at a time. Here, here's the other one. This is our compost water, microorganism water that we're making over there. So we'll just put two fingers like this and then it's a gentle roll. And you do that for about, you know, a minute, two minutes, just so everything gets mix in there and then we're gonna have to do this again when we're ready to put it into our slide to watch it under the microscope because uh it probably will settle so we just do this for a minute you know you need to see here how gentle roll it is so we don't destroy or damage our microorganism specimen 
And when we take a sample, we want to take the sample of the liquid, not the material, what they call matter. It's just the liquid, because the liquid will contain the microbes. All right, that seems to be enough. We're gonna have to do that again. So here we have the grapes. Here we have the compost. Now we got two more specimens here to go after. And then uh, this is what's good about these uh, stainless steel uh, spoons here. Very easy to clean. There, it see, it's all clean. Now with this one, there's no cross contamination because we're using what we have on the ground anyway. And the, basically how you make a sample is you take a core sample from each area of your garden and you um, put it on the bag and mix it up and you will send it to the laboratory. And they want to do that kind of, uh, you know, a different area of sampling. So you're not just sampling from one area. All right, so we're just gonna crumble all the clumps. And now this is just the, the raw compost material, not put into the ground. So, we'll get that. I think we could just, uh, let's try to just scoop a little bit in here. We don't need a lot. There we go. I think that's too much. All right, I think that's enough. All right, made a list of a mess here. There we go. You see how it's not that much. Now, I pour a little bit of clean water. Put the cap on. And we do the same thing. Nice, gentle roll. Again, we don't want to do a hurricane violent shake because remember, these are micros, they're very small. And you just see how it's getting nice and mixed in there. And again, you just do this for one or two minutes. So if you see anybody doing a violent shake, you know, they don't know what they're doing. Because you're just uh, destroying the micros. It's a gentle roll. All right, so this one should be the compost. And then, like I said, when we do this again, when we Put it in the slide. All right, it's almost there. All right, so let's put that one back here. Pipe. Seal that up. 
And then we got to take some of this stuff. This is uh, for the operator. <laughs> You gotta stay refreshed. All right, so let's get our last one, which is um, that seems to be something wrong. Okay, so you see, I grabbed the wrong button. This one says blueberries, and I know we did the grapes. Yep, we did the grapes, and. This one says compost. And this one says blueberry, see? So how can you fix it? That's why you put the label with tape and look how easy you to fix it. Just grab the wrong test too. No big problem, as long as we know what things are. So let's put that there. And then this one says compost. And this one belongs to the other one. So it's just masking tape, very easy to take out. All right, so this one, compost. And you see? No cross contamination, no nothing, easy fix. It's like I did that on purpose. All right, and then we just labeled this one here, blueberries. And then we have our blueberry samples there. All right. You just see how easy that is. Now if you labeled it written on the test too, well, all you have to do is just put a piece of tape over that with the correct name, and you're still good. All right, so here's the blueberry sample. Let's uh, kind of crush it up, shake it. Okay. Now let's test the sample in there. This one has a lot of organic material. All right, there we go. Now, let's uh, make sure. We got it good. Okay. Now, get some water in here, clean water. Okay, uh, let's close this bag. There, now. Right here. This is the blueberry and then again, gentle roll. Gentle roll. And now, you just see this one? It kind of looked like it had a lot of organic material, but this is in the blueberry. So we'll see what's cooking in the blueberry, what kind of microorganisms we have there. Now again, this is live testing, meaning I don't know myself. So I want to test it and then you guys can do the same thing by um, if you like to send me a sample of your soil and I have to do it exactly how you're seeing me do it here and I have to tell you how many microorganisms you have per square foot and 
possibly identify what kind of microorganisms you have. And depending on your plant, your growing, if you had the right organisms. So we'll, we'll test this out and we'll find out. That should be on the next step. So the next step will be at the microscope. All right. There we go. That should be done. Again, we're gonna have to do this again when we put it on the slide. But it's that easy. All right, and there you go. That's how we organize our test samples. All right, I'll see you under the microscope. Okay, so here we got them all labeled. And here's our cover glass. And here's a microscope, of course. And here's a specimen. Now, we're gonna have to get our specimen onto one of these slides put a cover glass on it, and then we can put it on the microscope here. And then you guys can watch it on the computer screen, live, as it's happening. So, I'm gonna try to get the next step here and see if we can move on from here. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Remember, gentle roll to get it going. This is gonna be our grape. So, see, we to do this without making a mess. I just hope we get it in. Okay, remember, gentle roll. Now, I think we're going to put all of one on the slide, and then I have to set up the camera again so you guys can see. All right, that should be good. Here's the grape. Not make a mess. Okay. Going on, it takes a little bit. Let's put that here. Now, just a little drop. Whoa, that might be too much. Put the cover glass. Perfect. All right, and then that's a good, that's a, dead, that's a good slide. All right, so let's uh, set this to the side here. Oh God, there. We don't want it to bleed out. Next one. It says. Microorganism water. Here we go. Microorganism water. And then we take the pipette. Take a slide. And we got a cover glass. Now we have to go back to the microorganism. All right, so this one, nice gentle roll. Okay, let's take this out. Okay. 
Okay. Let's put this over here. And now, just a little drop. Okay. Let's put this with the sample core. Test tube. Whoa, it looks like uh, it's kind of wet. Oh. All right, next one is compost. This one. All right, get the pape. Oh, how many are we done? One, two, or three, four. Okay, compost. Now let's get the compost slide. Okay. Okay, you guys are excited? I am. Don't know what we're gonna see. All right, let's take a sample. Set that over here. Uh, I got a cover glass and now we'll drop it. Basically, you hold the cover glass at a 45 degree and then just drop it. Alright, so there you go. We got successful. Okay, you can see that how it's nice and spread. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do our last one. So now we're gonna do our last one. The blueberry. Gentle rock. And then we're gonna extract the sample. Oh, I didn't get down. Okay. Extract the sample. Okay, and then get a cover glass, put a little droplet. Forty-five degree and just drop it. There. All right, now we go to the microscope. Okay, so I didn't want to bore you with um, videos. And basically, there was hardly nothing to show uh, that you will find interesting. Uh, I did find some nematodes and a cilia. And most of it was in the blueberry. Uh, I tried taking photos of it, but they're not transferring to the edit software. Um, but in short and long, there's a lot of bacteria, a lot of sand. And there is, a, you know, a little cilia and nematodes in all four samples, but nothing to, um, you know, write home about or show on video for long periods. So that's why I cut it, cut it short. So I hope you enjoyed this video here and uh, keep on watching to the Blue Garden and ask questions. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome to the Blue Garden. Anybody need some mangoes? Look at this. Is that tree full of mangoes or what? Everywhere you look. Mangoes. These are your vanilla mangoes. See that? All natural. No chemical. Nothing. A lot of you guys were so worried about your leaves being so distorted that you put chemical fungicide in there because you were worried about 
this, this. So you put poison in there to poison all your mangoes. Well, when you don't do that, you take care of the soil. Look, you get new leaves and you get beautiful mangoes. Look at that, learn from the blue garden. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never